Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with the next part of the Uber's Road to Top 10. Today we're going to be using a team with Zekrom. It'll be a lot of fun. Last time I used Kieran White, today we're going to be using Zekrom. So, some Pokemon that people feel are not so good uh, around this time in Uber's, uh, mainly because of this Mon and then, you know, the other one being uh, Primal Kyogre and whatnot. But I want to use it. My boy Aberforth passed me this team with the double Z, Marsh Shadow, and Zekrom. So, that should be fun. Uh, Z, Outrage actually can knock out Groudon from full, so that's really cool. We have Spadef Groudon, standard. Uh, Calm Mind Arceus Fairy, also needed because of this monster over here, which is also pretty much needed. Scarf, Healing Wish, Shaman, and then SD Lucario. So the team is actually pretty weak to, um, I wanna say Xerneas, but everything on the team hits it hard enough to the point where Bullet Punch from Lucario knocks it out anyway. So hopefully we can get some solid games. Let's see where we are actually on the ladder because I have not checked real quick. Uh, top 10 is 1736, and we are 1581, number 184. I think I decayed a little bit. I'm not sure. I haven't played. I mean, I, I only play as much as I record. So, um, this team, I, I don't know. I, I like. I love the way it looks. I love the way it looks. Uh, in testing, because I actually played against Blender a couple times, it did okay. It did okay. Zekrom, Oko, Groudon, so that made me happy. And that's really what I really, that's really what I wanted from this, uh, that's really what I wanted from this team, but I also want to win, of course. And also, I'm not having... Like, I do have one ground immunity, which is pretty cool. Um, Groudon's going to be annoying, but, like, this deals with it, and so does Lucario. Uh, and Arceus Fairy can, you know, beat it, sort of. In any case, like, we can, we can take hits from it, and then Earth Power, do some damage. Ironically, this is my switch into it. Um, Arceus Water can be annoying, I suppose, but... If it's just Ice Beam, non-judgment, I'm fine, and I SD up on that. And Zekrom does not care, man. Zekrom just doesn't care. Plus, having healing is pretty cool. I really do love uh, Marshadium Z on Bulk of Marshadow as well. I kind of like Life Orb as well, but this just hits so hard, man. Where are the games at? Is anybody playing in Ubers? Let me watch a battle. Ubers, where are you? There's 21 battles going on. Huh? Where are my games? Oh, these dudes in the 1500s. Oh man, he's Z. Alright, that's good to know. This is good. This is good information for later. Z Xerneas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bro, you lost. This boy actually lost. He's trying to force the rest. You can't even whirl him out. He's trying to he's trying to force a rest and steal all his boosts. That's what he's trying to do with Marshadow, but he doesn't have enough Pokemon left to do that. Like if Arceus crits extreme speed into the shadow sneak crit, it still probably wouldn't kill Xerneas. So this guy can still win if this dude chokes and goes for rest as uh, Marshadow, Spectral Thieves, everything. <laughs> now where the hell are the games, bro? I'm trying to play some Pokemon. Alright guys, we'll pause it. We'll pause it until we find a new game. Oh, yep, there we go. Nice. Alright, so we got one. Um, Definitely a scary team on my opponent's side. I uh, like Zekrom as a lead a lot because it deals with a Veltal, which matches up very well versus me. I would, I think my opponent would lead off with a Veltal, especially if it's like Scar- Oh, what is this girl? What the hell is this? I'm tired of my avatars randomly changing. I really like Zekrom because it deals, again, with a Veltal. And, um, hopefully, like, I would lead off with that versus me because it can U-turn out versus Groudon. It, gives, it has a good matchup automatically versus Groudon. If it leaves Xerneas, I do have Groudon to come in, too. And, uh, yeah, Zekrom just matches up well versus- like, I would lead off with something like a Veltal versus me, but he leads off with Zygarde. This should be a free home clause, as, of course, he is the one Dragon Dance offensive Zygarde out there, man. Come on, father. I ain't trying to fight you right now. So I unfortunately let my Zekrom get low, but hopefully he thinks I'm really, really... <laughs> I'm not that good of a player because of the fact that I made that turn one play. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. I wouldn't double out to Groudon here. Expecting him to want to go out into, uh, I would go Magirna over over his own ground. I guess he could stay into, but I would not make that play. I would always go Magirna. Yep, so this gives us up rocks, and it looks like he does not have a defogger. So, gives us up rocks relatively early, which would be pressuring the Aveltal. Uh, again, Lucario looking to really win this game in the late game. Obviously, Kyogre comes out, though, and that Mon kind of just destroys me as a Pokemon. Skyman doesn't do much. Uh, he should Ice Beam here. I would actually Ice Beam, but if he doesn't, I get in Skyman and then I get to go for the Seed Flare. Origin Pulse does not knock me out, which is nice. I can go for the Seed Flare here and get off a little bit of chip. Whether he goes a Veltal, he actually opts to stay in and I miss, so that's great. 
that is just great. Uh, we're gonna go directly into my Zekrom though, and uh, because he knows I can bolt strike him, I'm gonna home claws up, expecting to want to go grout on here. He should go grout on, I think, over Zygarde. Zygarde, I don't think, makes much. Are you kidding me? If I went right for the Z outrage, he died. Okay. So, unfortunately, that, that Seed Flare miss also sucks at like Kyogre because that would have been nice for Arceus. But we're going to go directly into Arceus one more time. If he wants to eventually Dragon Dance up, he can. But uh, I'm thinking it might actually be Z move. I'm not even sure. Or, or like one of those Figgy Berries, I Papa? Maybe the Papa. It could be the Papa. I don't know. Uh, either way, I get a recovery here. And he could double out to Kyogre, and then I have no switchings. He could. Very well double out to Kyogre, and then I have no switchings. But e either way, I'm, I'm making this play one more time. I am making this grout on play. Because I don't want him Volt switching if he has it. Yeah, it just fires off the Flur Cannon. So this isn't too bad. Uh, Zygarde can come in if it wants to. I'm going to make the Zekrom play one more time, just in case he does go Kyogre. Because Ky defensively, Kyogre is not bad. Actually, Toxic is better. Yeah, he goes with Veltal. So nice. We get off a of Toxic and a Veltal. Arceus Fairy already dealt with that. No, we don't. I lied. And it was leftovers of Veltal too, so it's defensive. Uh, he could have his own Toxic, so I am going to go out into... Oh, foul play would be annoying too. I don't want him to be Toxic because then my Arceus Fairy is going to lose. How much does foul play do to Lucario? How much does Lucario do back is the better question. I need Lucario. Like, Lucario literally wins the game at plus two. It actually wins the game. Unless it's Scarf. You guys think that's Scarf? Zygarde? No, 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 no. I switched first. Yeah, I switched first in this turn, so it's not Scarf Zygarde. Okay, good. Thank God I paid attention to that. Uh, so, Arceus is my play. Always the play, and we just click Judgment here. He goes for Dark Pulse with the leftovers. Um, yeah, there's no reason not to click Judgment now. I don't care if he goes Magirna. I don't want him staying in. He has leftovers... D leftovers Dark Pulse, so I'm not really not sure what to think much about this. Like, I, I really don't know what to think at all, but at least we get a nice, beautiful hit on Kyogre, and he has to go for Ice Beam here, I feel like, because I do have Groudon as a switch, and so I'm going to go for Combine, expecting him to want to go for the Ice Beam, and that will allow me to knock him out with the next Judgment, based on rolls, hopefully. No! He just decides to freeze me! Okay, so we're going to still try and play as, as best as possible right here. Um... It's going to be tough because I'm a little bit tilted now. Uh, he goes for Calm Mind too, which is pretty funny. Uh, we can go right for the Presser's Blades and hopefully knock him out. If not, I knock him out with Lucario after. It's just looking a little bit tough now that, you know, my Pokemon got frozen. Thankfully, we do land the Presser's Blades and do knock out Kyogre. Uh, I kind of wish I had my Healing Wish Mon now, but that's fine. Um, Eveltal is going to be a problem. Zygarde comes out. Yeah, this is definitely a giant issue. I'm going to go directly into Marshadow here. If you want to drag it up, I'm stealing it. Like, I am taking your boosts. Yeah, I don't mind. I actually bulk up, too. Just so I can do as much damage as possible to him. I don't think that I'm going to have my... Um, I don't think I'm gonna get be have a chance to use my Z move, so I'm just gonna use Soul Stealing, uh, my my basically my best attack, and I'm hoping that it knocks him out, uh, just because he looks to be offensive since he is faster than my uh, yeah he was faster than my Zekrom, so we knock out Zygarde, great, big threat gone. If he goes Xerneas, I get off a Spectral Thief on that thing, which puts it in range of Bullet Punch. Magirna's not a giant threat. I mean, it is a giant threat, but it's not the biggest threat. And uh, Eveltal is checked. So he goes Groudon, which gives me a close combat on that. And that's amazing for Lucario. Lucario is looking really, really good. Especially if he opts to go for like, something like Rocks here over not killing me. Like, this should be able to knock him out with Lucario's adaptability close combat. Yep, hell yeah. It goes for Fire Punch. And like I said, while I am super weak to Xerneas, as long as Lucario is good right here, I, I, I'm good. So, basically... What am I saying? As long as Lucario hits the Iron Tail, I'm good. So we're going to be able to knock out the uh, the Groudon right there. Flurry Cannon from Defensive Magirna does not knock out Lucario from full, by the way, unless I am minus one, which I am. So I could sack something like Zekrom and be good versus that. Uh, the fact that he has Dark Pulse on a Veltal with Leftovers, I think he just dies. So I'm going to go for that. 
Alternatively, I can go for SD, the SD play. I think I'm gonna sack. I'm gonna sack this and try and SD up with my uh, my Lucario versus him. Yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. Uh, we'll roost here just in case he opts to go for Sucker Punch. I don't think he would, but if he does try and go for Sucker Punch, if he has Sucker Punch, I, I have no idea. He's a leftover variant, but uh, yeah, we gotta go out to Lucario now. I don't think he has Sucker Punch then. We do live as one hit. We knock out Magirna with plus two close combat. We should knock out Xerneas with the plus two BP as well. And uh, at 88% anyway. Yep, we definitely live Sucker Punch as well. And we should be able to knock him out. Unless this is like a really defensive set because that is 70. I'm not sure. Get the hell out of my sight. I am Mega Lucario. And I have no idea what type of Xerneas he is, but this is plus two adaptability boosted bullet punch. He goes Magirna first, which is uh, not a counter. <laughs> that is not a counter, my friend. That is going to die. Sumya deep. This is dead. Out of my sight. And all I got to do is bullet punch Xerneas. And we are good to go. And plus Groudon is still... It's healthy enough to take an unboosted... An unboosted uh, attack. And if it is Scarf Xerneas, then I knock it out with Bullet Punch anyway. So I'm, I'm hoping this is game. I'm thinking this is game anyway. Yep. Nice. Lucario pulls through at the end. Let's go. And Marshadow help. Unfortunately, Zekrom was not able to do anything right there. But that game was just so dangerous. Uh, the, the freeze was terrible. The freeze was absolutely terrible. Uh, so we got another game. And uh, another one where I actually kind of like... I actually kind of like uh, Zekrom in this. So this should be fun. I want Groudon for rocks immediately, so I can at least pressure Defog. Calm Mind, Arceus can win, but obviously he does have this. this yeah, he's like 50 Mons, I can deal with it. That's crazy. Uh, I'm very, very, very scared of Kiram. Which is probably Specs thinking about. I'm gonna lead off of Groudon, yep. Kiram is probably Specs, but we'll, we'll find out immediately. We'll find out immediately if it's Specs. It doesn't knock me out with one hit, and I can get up my rocks. Uh, rocks just threaten ho uh, which lets Lucario come in and SD up if he drops a Draco or goes for Ice Beam. Basically, Lucario can come in and late game sweep. Um, with Rocks up, I'll be good. I'm, ideally, he just switches out. Like, obviously, Ice Beam is coming out. Most likely, but I would love if he randomly just switched. Let me see this. Calc. Because I want to find out. I'm, I'm Max Bedef, but... Like, this is, this is just a tough mon for me to deal with. Sub-Zero Slammer. Okay. So he uses his Z-move immediately. Makes it a little bit easier on me. Um, we'll Toxic here. And then we'll be able to go directly out into Lucario and I think claim, our, claim one. Like just straight up claim one. And I actually want to go for Iron Tail over... Because Iron Tail will knock him out and it also hits Marshadow if he wants to make that risky play. Because you shouldn't go ho when I, when I have rocks up. You definitely shouldn't go ho when I have rocks up. I'm going to make the Iron Tail play just in case he wants to risk Marshadow. He has double ghosts, so uh, Groudon is definitely a play my opponent could make. Oh, come on. No, hit. Thank God. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lucario. <laughs> I appreciate you coming through, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So Giant Threat gone. Uh, Marshadow is obviously, you know, another Giant Threat that I do have. Uh, Shadow Ball would come out here. I'm going to go directly into Shaman and just start clicking Air Slash, I think. Eat Shadow Ball here or Will-O-Wisp. Um, Gengar does die to Bullet Punch after an Air Slash hit, so that's fine for me. Substitute is also a very good play. But, at least we land, and he can knock me out with Sludge Wave if he wants to. But I do have Marshadow, and Marshadow is super good right now, because it can easily just go right for Shadow Sneak, and it can knock out Gengar 63, and if he goes up to Arceus, I can bulk up on that Mon. Yeah, so we'll be able to knock out Gengar right here, and if he goes out into, like, Groudon or Arceus, we're good. Um, actually, I, if he does switch out as well, Gengar should be in range of Bullet Punch, if I'm not mistaken. I think it does around 50, I want to say. Lucario. Gengar. Uber's Utility Trapper, let's say. 43 to 52. Oh, so it'll be a close roll. Uh, he has Arceus Fairy, too. This should be Defog Arceus Fairy. I'm a bulk up. If he judgments me, I'm dead, but obviously, but. Yeah, he should be Defog because he does have Ho, -Oh, so I had to go for this, I think. 
And we're just gonna go for our soul stealing, spectral thiefing. And like, we're gonna get rid of this Arceus Fairy right now. This should knock it out. It's plus one, and it is. I, I it's stole his soul has been stolen. Yep. I don't know if that crit mattered. If it did, I apologize. Uh, Zekrom doesn't get to go for his attack, unfortunately, after, but it's not looking bad. I go for Spectral Thief over going for close combat because I don't want to be, um, actually, it doesn't matter if my defense is weakened. This is, this is, this is going to hurt. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. This is going to hurt. Zekrom's still good because it does, if I get rid of this, Zekrom deals with Ho. Oh, and he just roars me out too, so. Uh, he brings in the one Mon I really did not want him to bring in. So we'll go Arceus here. I gotta keep Zekron alive for Ho as he gets up rocks. I'll calm mind up here. Do as much damage as possible to him. As he goes for Toxic and unfortunately misses. Uh, at least Earth Power now doesn't knock him out, but it does put him in range of every attack I can go for. And. I need this Mon alive because ho -Oh is a giant threat, but I'm hoping he sacks it and doesn't go directly into ho -Oh as which is the good play. Alright, looks like that's leftovers ho -Oh. That's not that bad. The problem is, I get to click Outrage and I'll, I'll be able to revenge kill. I'll be able to knock out Groudon, but if this Sacred Fire burns, I'm in a bad situation. So we're going to Roost first on the Groudon sack. I'm trying to think about how I beat ho because -Oh, I don't think I can. Can I go for Outrage here, but then he Revenge kills me. Does he? I mean, I, I, I have to Outrage here, unfortunately. I would love to not to have to go for Outrage there, but it is my strongest attack. It does knock out Mar- it does like 90% to Mars Shadow. He goes Ho first, surprisingly. So if he doesn't burn me, I'm in a great position. But he does have multiple opportunities to do so. Yep, he gets to burn immediately, unfortunately for me. Uh, I do need a little bit of chip damage on Mars Shadow to beat it. I can probably win with my own Mars Shadow though. Let me just bull strike for some damage. I showed Roost, right? Yep, I did. So, bull strike damage on Marshadow is key for um, knocking it out with bullet punch and stuff. Like, that did so much damage, too. What the hell? Calm down. Yeah, that's actually pretty crucial for knocking it out with bullet punch. So, maybe Lucario can win. They get some plays right. Is that Life Orb? That is indeed Life Orb. So we could go ho here if he wanted to, but I don't mind. Oh, he sacks it. Nice. He sacks. Oh, he didn't. He didn't knock. <laughs> Never mind. He didn't sack it. <laughs> uh, we go out to Lucario though and click Bullet Punch. I'm trying to win this late game with Mars Shadow slash Lucario. So I gotta go for BP here. Uh, it doesn't matter if he goes ho. It matters if he goes ho and doubles though. That's like bad for me. Which is probably the play he would make. Oh, but he I, he actually sacks my shadow, which is great because now he has one less sack for my um for my Zekrom. I think we'll just close combat here too. Yep, let him knock me out. We'll go out to Zekrom and we'll click Bolt Strike here, I believe. That is the play. I have to go for the paralysis on Gengar. He stays in. Why is he staying in? And I get the paralysis on Ho too. Nice. So there's potential for me to win with just this plus uh, plus Marshadow. I roosted because I'm hoping. I'm really hoping that I knock out Gengar with Bolt Strike based on that. Oh, that did 58. I doubt I knock it out. How much did I do to Outrage? Though? Outrage did that much to. If Outrage did 46 to Ho, -Ho no, that that was not burnt. It's gonna come down to the full pairs. Oh, and he has Hex too. Oh, we knocked it out. All right, yeah, I win. Zekron coming through. Let's go. Let's go. Zekron coming through, man. That is what I like to see. That is what I. And because I'm burnt, he can't poison me with Tox. That's amazing. Zekron coming through in the end. That is what I like to see, my boy. Yeah, just based on the damage I did to Marsh Shadow, it makes sense that this was able to knock him out. I'm assuming he's Sacred Fire, Roost, Toxic, Brave Bird. matter I roost again just in case he has random earthquake ah Zekron wins he's trying to stall me out but he doesn't know he does not I, I went for home call. no I didn't go for home claws here yeah you're not gonna stall me out buddy once he sees home claws he's about to dip 
Once he sees home claws, raise my accuracy, he will dip. Yep, I already knew it. The second he, he, cause he was smart. He was going for roost because he would stall me out of uh, my bolt strikes unless he got full parrot. But I never saw, I never showed home claws. So Zekrom right there, finally put in the work, getting off the damage on Marshadow, knocking out Gengar, and beating the hole. So and killing Groudon. So I definitely at least consider that one a nice showing for this Pokemon. It was one of my favorite monsters to use in Black and White Ubers too. I absolutely love Scarf, Sleep Talk, Zekrom uh, with uh, Bolt Strike, Outrage, and uh, Bolt Switch. You bring it in on Darkrai and you just either Bolt Switch on out of there or get two moves that could kill it. And um, it was just so nice. Uh, obviously the introduction of Fairies and 6th Gen really did change that. You could still use something like Banded Zekrom. Banded Zekrom was awesome. Mixed Zekrom was also pretty cool too. Uh, that's something I also like to experiment with in black and white. But I absolutely loved Banded. Banded just had no switching. You could Dragon Claw something. It was like Kieran Black. Kieran Black was another fun mon. So on black and white, Ubers and OU. I remember when that mon dropped down to OU. I was like, wait, what? Kieran Black. And then, you know, uh, we decided, wait. Or we figured out, wait, this mod is still broken, but we still allow it in 5th gen OU for some reason. I don't know why. But I'm glad, I'm happy the way the games are going. And um, this fight like hacks and whatnot. Though I did get lucky in that when I dodged Toxic early, which gave me the earth power damage that I needed on Groudon. Though I'm pretty sure that Lucario would have been able to knock him out anyway. Ho is just an issue. So I'm hoping uh, we don't fight anymore. <laughs> Obviously, Zekrom deals with it. Like, I like that matchup, but then, like, I, that one Zygarde threw me off, like, a fast Dragon Dance Zygarde. Thank God Marshadow's soul-stealing seven-star spectral Dragon Ball type thing worked, whatever. It knocked it out. Like, thank God. And it's the double Z is the wave, bros. Whenever you need it. You use this one for Groudon, you use this one for everything else. <laughs> Arguably everything else. Do I actually, did I actually knock out? I did get the hacks on that guy, though. Or I did get the hacks? What? What am I saying? I did get lucky versus that guy because, yeah, proper English, because I was able to knock out um, Arceus Fairy uh, with a crit. I, again, I don't know if it mattered because if he's running this spread, then um, it knocked him out anyway, obviously. But if he's running like, a, I don't know, if he's running like a really bulky spread, I still knocked him out. It was a 76. All right, so I don't know. Maybe, I don't think he'd run that more bulkier than this, right? Because you need speed. I don't know if you need that much speed. Maybe he would've been more bulky. I don't know. But, the good thing is I knocked him out regardless. So, it's actually taking a little while to find a game. So, what I'm actually gonna do is just pause it and uh, we will be right back, my friends. Alright guys, so we have a really, really, really cool team uh, that my opponent has right here. Um, not quite sure what to think about it, but... Besides the fact that it's actually super cool, uh, Marshadow destroys it. Same thing. Zekrom actually puts in some work too. I'm gonna lead off with Groudon because I get up Rock. He led off with Age Slash, so I actually get up Rocks immediately, uh, which is amazing for breaking Deoxys Sash. That's something I'm scared about because my priority destroys him. So if I could break Deoxys Sash, that'd be fine. Um, he could go directly into Kyogre, but he actually goes for King Shield. For he has a Tango on his team. I'm not sure what to think about that. I'm gonna hit this boy up with the press of his blades. He goes directly into Kyogre, which is amazing because now I don't have to worry about close combat damage. Zekrom's actually pretty good versus this guy too. And I own I, I get the absolute best turn right there. So unfortunate for my opponent. I get a crit on the switching. And like I said, literally the best turn possible. He didn't mega because uh, I guess he wanted to keep scrappy. Kang's is another mon that kind of like faltered. It fell down in Ubers, but um he does have the power punch. I don't. I do want to be careful about this guy because if it does have sucker punch, I'll be scared. But I mean, I have Mega Lucario in the back anyway to always check it, so I think I'm all right. Uh, because my Skyman doesn't actually do anything, and Groudon does toxic everything and beats H Slash. I'm gonna sack my Skyman right here. Though he could potentially go for Earthquake instead of Return. That is not the case, however. So I want to keep this thing alive because I knew that my way of revenge killing this would be Lucario. I get the auto speed boost. I'm not worried about this guy. Obviously, he is going to go Age of Slash anyway, but I do not care. Uh, he actually opts to stay in, so he gives me his Kangaskhan right there. And like I said, Stealth Rock are up, so Focus Sash potentially broken on the Deoxys as well. Uh, I want to just go hard, Zekrom, man. I want to do some damage. 
Who is SD? Ooh. Home claw raised my accuracy. Should I? <laughs> I was gonna say, should I fear this? But I don't know. I mean, I feel like Zekrom's gonna do a ton of damage anyway. This should do like 80. 92. My god. Are you life orb too? And he can't. That did nothing to me. So we'll roost here. Uh, best case scenario. I mean, best thing he could do is potentially Shadow Sneak or King Shield. So we end up at 100. And. Uh, I mean, I guess, like I said, he could go for the Shadow Sneak here, but it's not going to do that much more than Iron Head. Yeah. Does about the same. And we can knock him out with that Bull Strike. Okay, Zekrom getting another kill. Okay, I'll take that as Zekrom doing something. How, what was my opponent's... Why was I getting matched up with someone in 1200s? I guess there's really no one really playing in the Ubers, but... I mean, that's 1608 ladder. Ubers. So 1608 is... Scald is Borked. I like this guy's name. And we got Draco Master too. Ooh, two great names next to us. I'm number 113 on the ladder. So uh, once again, I guess we're gonna pause it, guys, until I find another game. Ooh, 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 never mind. We got Larkin. Zero Yarko. No, that's someone else. <laughs> that's 100% someone else. <laughs> All right. So Groudon is a threat. Not much to have that can lead and beat it. I'm gonna lead off a of Skyman because if he leads off a of Blaziken, I'm Scarf, and I can just air slash kill it if he wants to go for protect. Yeah, I feel like like on this type of team. I don't know, like Blaziken Lee was just calling out to me. So I'm assuming he's just going to Mega Evolve and protect. How, how does that do not 100%? Oh, good, good, good. He doesn't get, he, he gets flinched though. I mean, I forgot that he yeah, does have the Serene Grace. So we're going to be able to 2 kill him because we are Scarf. Nice. And we get rid of a giant threat really, really early. Uh, Lugia is obviously a giant threat. This thing is a threat as well. Which is why, again, because Skyman doesn't do so much this game, I'm going to just keep clicking Air Slash. Because even if you Rock Polish, you're going to beat me. And I guess chances are I will flinch him. I can't, I love how I said Skyman doesn't do much, but this is the reason why we don't allow this mod in OU. We actually tested this mod in OU at one point back in 5th gen, and it got banned so quickly. Jesus, man, it actually got banned so quickly. And Zekron beats the rest of his team. I'm going to go uh, Groudon, though, just in case this is... I mean, Ice Beam, one, I don't want to mess around. Uh, two, just in case this is like a random Combine Lugia. I've been seeing those around, like running around the lower ladder. Uh, lately, and if I can just get off a of Toxic, that'd be great. Also, getting up Rocks, uh, pressuring whatever Arceus type he is. I'm thinking it's E Killer. I mean, Marsh Shadow is also really good. Goes for Toxic. That's a great mid ground play. Uh, assuming he didn't have Ice Beam, maybe a Psychic or something. That was a good play, regardless. I doubt he's sub, though. If he is sub, that's fine. Kyogre comes out. Very, very smart, but we hopefully land this Toxic. That's a move that I hate using. Nice. We land Toxic on Kyogre, so that's at least. 18% uh, done in the turn I switch out and I'm just gonna go directly into uh, Shaman I don't care if he goes for the um, Ice Beam predicting that or just goes for Water Spout and does 10 million that's fine too I don't care because I can always go Zekrom after and Revenge kill him and uh, what I'm actually gonna do right here is Healing Wish my Groudon seeing as how I'm pretty sure he's gonna switch out to Lugia yep Healing Wish my Groudon at least bring it back up full and give me the option of toxicing the uh, gives me the option of toxicing the Lugia right here Though Zekrom's ability does go through multi scale, I want to be able to toxic this guy. Yeah, I don't care if he goes Kyogre. Like, he's weakening his. Um... I'm gonna go Zekrom. I'm just gonna go hard Zekrom. He's weakening his Water Spout anyway. He could go for Ice Beam. But because I had Shaman and Zekrom before, I doubt he'd go for Ice Beam this turn. Like, he would have went for Ice Beam last turn. You saw two Pokemon that could take it. Yeah. Goes for Water Spout and does 10 million. And we'll just go after Bolt Strike and knock him out. Assuming he's not faster than I'm. Yep, nice. Knock him out. If he wants to go out to Giratina, I can just go for my Z move versus that. I can actually go directly into Groudon, most likely, and avoid every attack that Giratina could go for. Like, assuming, like, namely Will O Wisp and whatnot. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go Groudon. And unless it's like a random combine Giratina. Dragon Tail, that's it. Gives me Marsh Shadow. I still want Groudon in. Uh, I don't want to. I want to dodge or avoid a potential Will O Wisp or anything that my opponent could go for. Toxic. Ah. So I'm a toxic him first. I'm a toxic something here, whether it be Lugia or this. And he is going to drag into me out, but I'm going to eventually get on my rocks. He defogs. Uh, I do not mind that, my friend. I will get on my rocks. I don't know what his Arceus type is, but I'm, I'm assuming all these can deal with it. So he will get up rocks here if he wants to drag and tell me. He actually opts to go for the uh, the toxic again. A little bit sad. I guess he can go for defog if he wants to. I mean, I'm not worried about. 
I'm not worried about him defogging because again, Zekrom's ability does go through the Lugia, but I kind of wish that he would just knock me out. Uh, his best play is to go for defog again, but just in case he doesn't want to go for it, I will go for rocks. As he does go for rest, nice. And we're going to go directly into Zekrom. He has two turns of sleep to burn, so first turn we're going to roost on his uh, on him burning the first turn. And then, again, second turn, we're going to go for home claws. So that way we don't miss versus Lugia. And then we're going to go over the Z move and knock this boy out. Devastating Drake, get the hell out of my sight, bro. I just dropped a Devastating Drake on you. Go on. And I don't have to worry about missing Arceus. That is not a problem. Not a problem at all. I have Meg I have War Shadow. And plus this is gonna, this is literally a banded hit. <laughs> yeah, this is actually a banded hit. So Arceus goes down and Zekrom again cleaning up. That is what I like to see. Not bad. 1620. We take those, we take those. Zekrom actually putting in a bit of work there, which is pretty cool. I'm glad because I did I don't know. Like I, like I said, I love when a mon that I'm trying to use puts in work. I think that's amazing. But uh, let me see if there's are there any other Uber games going on that I could try and find? Because I don't want it to search forever. There's 28 Uber games. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and look for another game. And uh, I'll pause it, guys, until we find one. Well, I don't pause it. I'm using OBS. I don't use Camtasia no more. OBS don't have no pause feature. I probably could use Xplit because I can pay for it. But, like, I'm just going to turn off the recording, and then I'll edit in later on um, Adobe Premiere. So, yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't understand. I clearly showed you guys that there was, like, 20 battles going on in Ubers. It's like, that's 40 people battling. But I've been waiting here for legitimately five minutes, and I uh, have not found a game so <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm looking when we're when I'm like I'm gonna look again I'm gonna look again while I'm talking but if I don't find one by the time I do is you already know the video about to end because it's three o'clock in the morning I'm doing some laundry I'm trying to get this recording done you know because I want to get it done for the next day actually it's tomorrow's Wednesday that's the day I'm home all day and um, get all my tournament games done get all my meetings done do I got to do Get a nice streaming, whatnot, but I can't find a game. So I think I'm just gonna end the video there. So um, unless of course we find one by the time I finish talking. But thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like. You can also subscribe and uh, check out the rest of the Uber's Road to Top Ten. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends. Unfortunately, like I, I was literally here searching for six minutes. Well, six minutes now because that was an extra two minutes. But yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys next time with the next part. I love that Zekron put in work though, so goodbye friends.